Hello, Internet. So I had a problem. I love this app, Loopy Pro, and I've been looking over all of the various tutorials, both on YouTube and written, to try to do one simple thing. What I want to do is be able to program Loopy Pro with a strong structure ahead of time. And then it would record each little item from me in however way I want, whichever order. It would then immediately start playing the song based on that structure. And then I can sing or solo or do whatever. The tutorials online are very extensive and I had not seen anyone just get to the point and do this. Well, I figured it out, so I'm gonna show it to you. I feel obligated because it's good form, right? Yes, it's very good form. So we're gonna start by, I'm gonna just do a blank new project, discard changes. Ooh, and I wipe the reverb off, great. <clears throat> All right, so I have a cursor here, I'm on my iPad. We're gonna start by clicking the sequencer tab. And what I'm gonna do is the song Lollipop. I believe that's the name. Very simple. It's, I think most people know it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna need two bars here for the bass, two bars here for the first harmony, two here for, I guess the lead or whatever you call it. And this is the little goofy pop break thing. Now we need to tell it to arm recording and make sure that it's set for two bars. So what we're telling it is that when this clip first comes up, you're gonna record for the first two bars and then stop. And then for the rest of the sequence, we can loop that recording. Arm this, two bars, arm all there. All right, we are ready to go. Look, there's a, something else I want. When we get to bar nine, I've recorded everything needed for this demo. So at this point, we just want it to loop. So in the structure, that two bars plays three times, which is these three here. And then the last two bars is that pop. Ba -dum, boom, boom. So let's loop all these together. And then the very last two bars is going to be this. Let's check, we're good. One more thing, while I'm recording this, I wanna be able to hear myself. So I'll record that by itself. When I record this, I wanna hear the first recording, the bass part, so that I can stay on pitch. And I want it to record the entire time except for this weird little break. So we'll have everything repeat itself until here. And then, like I said, when we get to bar nine, I'm gonna stop recording and it's gonna just take over. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna go back here and just add a couple things. This is the first harmony. Swipe up, come on you. We're doing it with the pad. I'm just gonna put it off center, maybe 40% to the left. And then we'll take the, the lead part Come on, you. Swipe 40 to the right. Good enough. And then I'm going to take the entire mix and I'm going to add just your bass. Ooh, hello. Ooh, scary ghost. How's that? Something like uh, medium room? Nah, I like this. It's obnoxious like me. Perfect. Let's do it. <clears throat> Throat clearing, commence. That is not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Whew. Pardon my pitch, folks. I'm laying in bed with a set of business headphones. So, high tech. Oh, I guess we'll do like, what, 120? That'll be fine. I do want metronome. Here we go. Lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, 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 lolly,
lollipop. What do you think of that? There you go. So you can see you can build out this song structure and go hog wild. You could do very complicated songs. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use a lot of kazoo and triangle and some flatulence because that's how I roll. Bye, internet. <laughs>